Hey, it's Matthew with uh, GoCapeBreton.com. Have you seen our Cape Breton card game? We just got this new batch in from our manufacturer because we sold out of the first batch. And thanks to everybody who who purchased a copy or who won a copy in our various uh, contests. So I'm here to unwrap this one to check it out for quality assurance to make sure that the manufacturer's got it all at good quality before we can make it available to our customers and uh, as I unbox this I thought I would explain some of the games that are uh, available in the card game in case you might be interested in looking at it. So the box is looking good and basically this is a uh, card deck, an extra large set of cards with four games that are customized to Cape Breton culture. Let's check it out here. So I'm pulling the packages out of the box. Here's the, uh, the cards that are in it. Let's unwrap some of these cards and see what's uh, what's inside. All right, check it out. So it is an extra large, extra large, check out the size of these things, extra large deck of cards. So the cool thing about this is you can play any card game because it is a deck of cards. And the extra large makes it really easy to see, especially for people like me who are supposed to be wearing glasses and I don't. Um, or anybody who has any vision challenges. It's also really fun to play with big cards. I don't know what it is, but there's something fun about uh, playing card uh, card games with big cards. So uh, let's take a look, take a look at the uh, cards that come with it. So here's the Start Here card that shows you the four card games. Uh, with four games are not necessarily card game specific that come with, uh, with this uh, Cape Breton card game. So the first one is Tarbish. So it's the basic rules of Tarbish are up on our website at gokbreton.com, but here is the scoring system. So if you play Tarbish, you might find this a nice reference guide. But again, you can play Crazy H, you can play poker, you can play anything uh, because it's a full deck of cards. So let's take a look at some of these uh, other games. You can see there's uh, the games there. Buddy Says, Did You Know, Who's It, uh, who's, who's it To, and uh, Yup or Nope. So let's uh, let's and let me explain how they work. So buddy says. So the, every card has a buddy says. Actually has. A, you see that at the top there. Buddy says. Every card has a buddy says. So what you do is you hold the card. One player holds the card and they and they read what buddy says, but you leave a word blank. So let's see what this one. I laughed me blank off. I laughed me blank off. I laughed me head off. Right. Uh, write some. Blank. Write some blank. Do you know what the word is? Write some nice or write some good. Uh, let's see. How's blank hanging? How's she hanging? I wish I could say this in a Cape Breton accent, but uh, I grew up speaking Greek, so I'm kind of have a Greeklish, <laughs> Greek and English accent, not a Cape Breton accent. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's the fun part is you get to get to play these fun terms. And phrases that we have here in Cape Breton. The uh, the yup or nope, you can see there's a yup or nope and it, that particular card says Acadians. So the idea there is one person holds up the yup or nope and then each other player uh, takes a turn and asks a question and the person with the card can only answer with yup or nope. That's it. That's all you can say is either yup or nope. Uh, yes or no of course. Uh, translating here for non-Cape Bretoners and um, uh, and eventually, uh, you know, everybody gets a chance at answering uh, the, uh, discovering what the, uh, the the answer is. So that's yup or nope. And then the, the third one there is called, did you know? And that's a trivia question. Uh, for example, what is the body of water that divides Cape Breton Island from the mainland? And that is called the Strait of Canso. Let's see. What mineral found in abundance on Cape Breton Island is used to make wallboard? And that is gypsum. So we've got, uh, you know, 50 some cards, 52 cards, and uh, we've got uh, did you know questions and all those. And then the final one is what's it to? And here's what's cool. So you notice there's icons on these cards, these icons. So there's several dozen different icons representative of Cape Breton. And any two cards, if you hold up any two cards, there's always a matching set of icons on every two cards. So what you would do is you would turn cards over and all the players would act quickly to find the matching uh, icons. So whoever gets the most matches wins the game. 
So that's it. It's the Cape Breton card game. Here it is. And you know what? This is looking like it's pretty good quality. This uh, this new batch that we have. So I think I'm going to be happy releasing this out to potential customers. You can find the game. It's only around $20, $25, generally around that range. You can find it on our website at uh, capebretongames.com. That's capebretongames.com. You can also buy it at Best of Cape Breton. So you can go to their shop in Sydney River and pick it up or uh, via their website, uh, the Best of Cape Breton uh, website. Anyway, I hope you uh, may ha have a chance to play the game. Thanks for listening.